now my brain is like trying to comprehend going to space. <laughs> well, if you, um, if, okay. If you do go to space, make sure you take your katsu unit with you. That's the, that's the moral of the story. Once I'm allowed to go anywhere, I don't think I'm going to do it without my katsu. Uh, I went home to visit my parents in Northern California a couple weekends ago, and I brought it with me, and they were really excited. Okay. So okay. if I can bring it to Sacramento, I can definitely bring it to Spain. Yes. Uh, I'm excited to try it on airplanes as well. I think that'll yes. be really cool uh, to help with international trips. Yes. So since we're not taking any international trips in the very foreseeable future, let's take a trip into heart rate land in our own living rooms uh, and go ahead and get your cycle started. Have a sip of water if you have not already done so. All right. Um, there's no real theme per se of today's workout. Um, it's just going to be kind of a full body, sculpt, burn, heart rate boost, strength, all of the things. Um, and like I mentioned yesterday, if anyone has requests for specific things that they want to explore, please feel free to let me know. So with that being said, let's start with a series of circles. First ones, just to get the shoulders open. We are not doing these for strength because our arms are up and overhead. Arms reach up, start to circle now. And notice the position of your arms here. See if you can keep drawing them in line with your ears without letting the elbows bend as you start to move them around. And we don't want to build strength with the arms up and overhead because our blood is pooling in the wrong direction. Uh, but for the sake of opening up the shoulders and just being aware of our own bodies, doing a couple of these just to warm everything up. Good. Getting as much movement as you can. And it's hard to do these without bending your elbows. I notice a lot of this as we're working out. So really focus on that here. Good. Now go ahead and extend the arms straight out by your sides. Same thing. You want to keep the arms stable and work through the shoulders, bringing them up and around. Yeah. Good. And last set, arms come down by the sides, resting on the circle and out. And I get questions oftentimes of people asking me how to help mitigate kind of that neck and shoulder stiffness or pain. And the best way that I've found to do that is just through movement. So keep moving the shoulders and it helps things from getting stiff. Three more. Two, and rest. Uh, for our forearm exercise today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna get nice and close so you can see. So I pull my elbows in, and then I'm going to work on finger mobility to help strengthen my forearms. So what I do is I start to extend my thumbs forward. I extend my pointer fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers, and pinky fingers. And it's really hard to do it one at a time. That's what we're going to work on to help get our forearms burning. Then we're going to pull one finger in at a time and then go through it again. So it's a funky move, uh, but I want you to try and really only extend one finger out as far as you can at a time. And you should start to feel the forearms, the tops of the hands burning to control your digits. Go ahead and pull those elbows in. We're going to take 40 seconds here. We'll get started in three, two, one. So we start with a nice closed fist. I reach my thumbs forward, pointers, middle. These ones are hard. Ring finger, pinky finger, and then pull them back in one finger at a time as you continue to drive the tips of the fingers forward that are still extended. Nice. Yeah. These are good. Mm-hmm. Take it nice and slow, lifting each finger as high as you can. And I have a really hard time getting my ring fingers up. So that's the one I want to work into. Good. Last 10. Palms facing down. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out the wrist. And this is what happens when I have too much time in my house just to think of weird exercises. Well, let's do another set. This time I want you to try and move a little bit faster. But same thing, focus on one finger at a time. So I don't want to kind of throw my digits out there. I want to still do it mindfully. So we're going in three, two, one, one finger at a time, keeping the elbows glued in towards the body. And there's a natural inclination here as you do this for your thumbs to rotate upwards. Keep them down, fist facing down the whole time, using the forearms 
to control that. This is so hard for me. <laughs> and there's a system of working out called functional range conditioning that we've done from the back in our practice before, where they make you play the piano with your toes. So it's a similar thing to this, just with your toes. Half done. Good, pull those elbows in even more. Notice if your thumbs are starting to rotate up, keep them facing down. We have 10, Good. six, five, four, three, two, and one. And the idea behind this is the more we can control every part of our body, the less apt we are to get injured and the stronger we'll be overall. So good job, guys. Uh, next up, we familiar move. We're gonna come down onto the side of the body for our sideline triceps. So I'm coming down into my right side. I root my left hand into the floor. I take my right arm, give myself a hug, come all the way down into the mat, and then pressing into the left hand, I bring myself up and all the way back down, up, all the way back down. First 40 seconds, let's do it. Spread the fingers of the left hand nice and wide, that's your base, make it big and strong. And as you come up, fully straighten out that arm, lifting as high as you can, good. Now we're gonna work into this for 30 seconds, and then for the last 10, we're gonna come straight up and pulse at the top. And if you want an extra challenge, don't let your right shoulder touch the floor, just press up. Hover it down, press up, hover it down. Keep grooving, these look good. Good, everyone press straight up as high as you can. Let's work into it and pulse. Little bend, straighten, bend, straighten. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, press all the way up. We're gonna come down together slowly for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, roll onto the left side. Root your right hand into the floor, take your left arm, give yourself a hug. Good, and spreading the fingers nice and wide, let's work into the left side, coming all the way up, and either all the way down or hovering the left shoulder off the floor, pressing straight up away from you. Time is rolling, let's work into it. Good. Let's see who we've got on today. Nice job, good George. Mm-hmm, you feel that muscle press away from the band. Lily, awesome, you're flying. Good, 10 more seconds with this, and then we're gonna pulse at the top. See if you can fully extend the arm, pressing the base of all five fingers into the floor for four, three, two, and one. And press the floor away from you, pulse it up, up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, press all the way up and hold, lower down slowly. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, come on up to sit or stand, your choice. Slightly different bicep exercise today. So we're gonna work shoulder rotation, but we're gonna engage the biceps the whole time. So I pull the elbows into the body, I have that 90 degree angle in my arm, squeeze your fist, imagine you're holding, I don't know, 20, 40, however heavy pound weights. And we're gonna rotate one hand out at a time. And your goal here is to press your thumb as far back as you can without letting your elbow leave from the body. So we're really engaging the bicep. So imagine you're holding like a bungee cord, stretch it out as much as you can and come back through center and then switch sides. We're going in three, two, one. Good, make fists. Holding that heavy weight, pull it all the way back as far as you can. Bring it back through and switch sides. Yes! And this should be really hard if you're doing it right because you're working through a range of motion for external shoulder rotation, which is important. Good, out and in. And as you do this, you might notice your fist starts to creep up towards your shoulder. Keep that 90 degree angle and pulling the elbow in side to side. Whoa, there we go, nice. Good, squeeze your biceps. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Um, now this time we're not gonna add speed. If anything, think more range. Get those thumbs even further back without letting your body shift. So it's just the arm. Plug the elbow in, all right? We have four, three, two, let's go. Squeeze those fists, open up one side, 
Pull the elbow in, other side, come back through. Mm -hmm. And if you were holding a really heavy weight, you'd be going super slow, trying with all your might just to keep that weight up. Mm -hmm. Good. Right, half done. Feel that resistance of the muscle against the band. As our cycles are working, we're getting going, upper body's moving. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Nice job. Okay. Making our way down onto our floor or our workspace, side to side, forearm plank rotation. So I want to come into a forearm plank in one side. Doesn't matter which one. I lift my hips up and off the floor. My elbow is underneath my shoulder. I take the other forearm to the floor. I roll over to the side. And then I switch sides going side to side. And if you want to make this more challenging, keep your feet stacked the whole time. Slightly less challenging. You can stagger your feet to give yourself a little bit wider base to work off of. Okay? So let's start on one form. We're going to go side to side in four. Three, two, and one. We have one minute side to side forearm plank rotation. And as you come over onto one side, see if you can tap your top hip with your hands and then come back through. Yes. Good. Keep your hips up and off the floor. Keep pressing the floor away from you with your forearms. You can even make a fist. Squeeze those muscles, those arms. Good, Diane. Nice balance. Mm hmm. I like it. Jim looks great. Gabe, I love it. Good. We're half done. Keep moving. Keep your hips off the floor. Yes. Edward, Steve, Charles, and Eric, I can't see you, but keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds, and then we're going to work into it and make it hard. So in five, we're going to meet on our right forearm and hold it. We have three, two, three. One, come on to your right forearm, little lift of the hips, up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides. Last one, over onto the left forearm, pick those hips up, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone make your way up to your knees. Last upper body exercise, and then we're going to come up for our heart rate boost a question of the day, and then our legs. So in the beginning of our practice, we worked on extending our arms up and overhead. So we're gonna replicate that movement in plank. So think this. So I come into a plank position, I tap my alternate shoulder, and then I extend out, out. Now notice I'm not bending my elbow, and I'm not bringing it up like this. I'm fully extending it alongside my ear. So it's a shoulder tap, tap, extend, extend without letting your body wiggle, okay? So we have two 40-second sets. Make your way into plank. We're going in three, two, one. Alternate shoulder tap, tap, reach, reach. Let me see you get that arm all the way up in line with your ear. If you need to drop your knees and do it on your knees, that's totally fine. Mostly focus on keeping those arms straight, no matter what funky variation you're doing with them. Good. Tap, reach, and reach. Nice. And if you need a little bit wider base, you can step your feet wider out to the sides. Keep oh, Last 10 seconds. Keep those hips stable. Engage your core here. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. I saw a lot of extension there and not a lot of elbow bending. We're getting better in our shoulder range. Looks great, guys. We have another set. Last one, and we're coming up for that heart rate boost. So make your way into plank position. Second set, shoulder tap to shoulder extension in three, two, one. Let's do it. We tap, tap, reach, reach. Nice straight arm. Woo, looks good. Nice, Jeff. I'm seeing a tiny bit of elbow bending. I'm not going to call anyone out by name, but just being mindful that we're working into that. Good, 
good, good, good, good. Half done. Yes, good. Keep pulling your heels back. Create traction in your spine. Nice, George. We have eight more seconds. In five, we're going to drop the knees. See if you can do one more set for four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop your knees. Tuck your toes under. Press your hips up and back. And then start to walk your hands back to meet your feet, rolling up to stand. So that move is actually preparing us for the first part of our cardio boost. We have three moves. I'll demonstrate. We'll do them together. The first 30 seconds are itch, inch worms. We walk down, we walk it back up, and you either reach or jump and reach. Walk down, walk back up, give me an arm lift, whether it's with a jump or not. Second 30 seconds, we're going back for those over arms up overhead. It's a double overhead punch. So I'm jogging it out and I'm rolling my arms around. Okay, last 30 seconds, cross jacks. I go in, out, in out we always have at least one side kick in our workout okay get your cycles going if you're not already doing so first 30 seconds inch worms ready set let's go walk it out walk it up let me see that jump at the top arms reach up overhead out walk it up give me some hops keep going already have done keep moving through it Mm-hmm. Good. Last 10. Then we're going to come up for double overhead punch in six, five. Let me see one more inchworm. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Get those knees going. Get those arms rolling. 30 seconds. There we go. Good. Get those knees up. Yeah. All right, running it out, get those heels off the floor. First time getting a heart rate boosted for the day. Sometimes it feels good, sometimes it's the hardest one, and that's fine. Roll the arms opposite direction. Last 10 seconds, knees up, run it out. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cross jack, arms out, legs out, ready, set, let's go. Uh, keeping your arms in line with your shoulders the whole time. If the jack is not working, you can always step, step. Otherwise, keep hopping. Last 10 seconds. -wee. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's grab some water. Big sip. Swap out our bands, and we're going to come into our question of the day. So go ahead and swap out your bands. And we're gonna go with the space theme. The question of the day is, if given the opportunity, would you go to space, yes or no, and why? But you have to go to space in the next 30 days. So if given the opportunity to go to space in the next 30 days, would you go, yes or no? <laughs> I see Diane laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I expect some kind of answer with a coconut. I do not think so. Well, you have to give an answer. Why? <laughs> I would want to go so I could float. You'd want to go if you could float? What kind of floating are we talking about? So you could float? Looks like you're cutting out a little bit. Okay, Kayleen would go. No, there's enough adventure on Earth for me from Diane. Steve says he would only go to experiment with Katsu. Gabe says me and the boys are going to travel across the galaxy. Okay, Eric says yes, so I could change the shape of my eyeballs. So far, we're going for, for yeah, people are going to space, but these aren't very really convincing answers, guys. <laughs> Jeff says yes, endless possibilities there. Clinton says no because he has a Fortnite tournament. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's really funny. Honestly, I don't, I don't think I would go to space in the next thirty days if I had the opportunity. Um, one, I would miss teaching, and I'm kind of on the same grain of 
as Diane. I kind of, I kind of really like my life here. I'm happy. Uh, maybe you've given a year I would consider. Thank you for everyone who participated and answered. I always like hearing from you guys and your answers crack me up, uh, especially Gabe. Uh, I'm assuming the boys are the summer boys, but whoever the boys are, I, I hope you get the chance to travel across the galaxy. All right, everyone, hop on up. Once you've had some water, bands are on. We're finding those outer tubes. Both hands to the tubes and hike them up. All right. So starting to work into a little bit of mobility before we get going on our calf work. Hands to hips. Step the feet really wide, bend into alternating leg, rocking side to side, opening up the hips, shifting your butt back, getting a nice inner thigh stretch. And I want you to do your best to keep your heels rooted into the mat the whole time. All right. <laughs> so we're not so sold on space. Okay, some of us are down, some of us are not. And start to make your way back through center. Um, to start to work the calves, the first exercise of the day is called knee lift, heel lift. And yes, I made that name up. So my right leg is going to come up and off the floor. As soon as I touch my big toe to the floor, I lift my left heel. We go up, 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 and up. If you want an extra challenge, don't let your right big toe touch the floor. So I go up, lift, Ooh, up lift okay starting with the right leg we're going in four three two and one get the right leg up we pick that knee up lift the left heel up lift mm -hmm. good try and keep your right foot off the floor the whole time if you can and if you can't that's fine let's work into it that's the stuff and this left calf should really be firing because it's a single leg movement. You can always do it with your hand on a chair or a wall or your hip. Maybe a nice neighbor, last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Right to the other side, come onto the big toe of the left leg. Get that leg up, lift the heel. We go up, lift. Mm -hmm. Good, 10's rolling. And you might notice that as you do it, your balance gets better and better. You might also notice that it's way easier on one side than the other, and that's very normal. Like my right side, my right leg, way better balance. Up and up. Keep going. Half done. Mm -hmm. And maybe see if you can get that left leg even higher into the chest so we're also working our core on the lift to really get all the way up. And lift, last 10. We're gonna do one more set of these and we're gonna work into it in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, let's try it again. This time we're gonna make it a little bit harder. This time we're gonna come onto the toe of the right foot, shift forward ever so slightly. We're gonna lift up, heel, okay? So I lift that right leg back, left heel comes up, up, Okay, in three, two, we are going. Your choice whether you want to tap the right toes down or whether you want to keep it lifted. Either way, get your left heel up and off the floor. Nice, good. Challenging our balance in different planes of motion while also working our calves the whole time. Great, notice if your back leg is bending, try and keep it nice and straight so you get a little bit of a glute workout in there too. Awesome, Gabe. Last 10, then we're gonna go right to the other side. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's push it up. Left leg back, good, pick it up. Up with the right heel, lift, lift, Hands rolling. Up, up. Again, the right side, so much easier. <laughs> Good, keep it up. And notice here, if you're starting to round out or bend, I wanna see a lot of length from the top of your head to the back heel. Up and lift. Good, last 15 seconds. 
If you have the opportunity to hover the left foot off the floor, maybe even lift it higher as you work into it. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have four, three, two, and one. Kick it out. Okay. Calves have been worked. Let's get into our heart rate boost. Step to the back of your mat or your workspace. First 30 seconds, inchworms in three, two, one. Let's go. Walk it out. Walk it back in. Give me that jump. Walk it out. Walk it in. Jump up. Keep going. Good. See how fast you can do these. I want your heart rate to get elevated. Good. Big old jump at the top if you can. Inch worm. Last five seconds, and we're going to come up for the double overhead punch. We have four, three, two, and one. Hop on up. Get those knees going. Get your arm going. We're running it out. Yeah. Really get those arms going fast. Good, knees up, nice and high. Ooh, I feel my bands working. Good, rolling your arms the other way. We've got 10 more seconds. Give me everything you've got for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop it wide, cross jack, ready, set, go. Light on those toes, heels up. Speed it up. Keep those arms up. Don't let them get tired. We're half done. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Last 10. Give me everything you've got. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Next up, lateral lunge to reverse lunge. Hands are on my hips. I take my right leg. I lunge out to the side. I lunge back behind me. I lunge out to the side. I lunge back behind me. So as I lunge out to the side, I want to take a bend in my right leg. Out. Back. Get your knee to the floor. We're only doing the right leg, okay? Nice straight spine. 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. Bending into the right knee. I go side. Back. Out, foot down, back. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Noticing if you're slouching or rounding out, get your chest up and you can do whatever you want with your hands, whatever feels comfortable. And for these ones, we're not gonna take a pause in between sides. So I'm gonna give you a warning and then we're gonna jump right into the left side. Last 10 seconds. In seven, we're gonna move right into the left leg. We have five, four, three, Two, bring that right leg in, other side. Let's go, bending into left knee, out. Drop the knee down, out. Drop the knee down, yes. And as you lunge out to the side, press into your heel to come back up through center. And up, we're moving, we're going, our bodies are working. Good, each time you do it, get that back knee down to the floor. No stepping, lunge into it. Then come out to the side, get your butt low. Last 10, then we're gonna come up for a quick rest and some leg kicks to release. We have seven, six, keep going, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to stand, shake it out. Awesome. One more set. If you are needing an extra challenge today, we're gonna to take a sip of water after this. Take your hands behind your head, okay? So working the shoulders, keeping the chest up, Back into the right leg, three, two, one. I go out and back. Yep, side, woo, and back. And you can pick your pace, whatever you're needing. I'd recommend not speeding through these and instead think range of motion, getting the back knee all the way down. And as you step to the side, get your butt down towards your heel keeping your right heel rooted into the floor. Good, last 15 seconds, and we're gonna move into the left leg, and then we get a rest. Mm -hmm. If your elbows are behind your head, no making a cave, press them open, chest up, core is active. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, right to the left leg, over and back. Time going. 
Whew. All right, let's see how we're doing. Good job, Instagram. Nice. Good. Keeping that body nice and still and stable. Awesome, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Half done. Get your butt even lower. Good, Diane. Mm-hmm. Last 10. Give me two more. Awesome. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Shake it out. Okay. Quick sip of water. Then we're getting our heart rate up again. We only have one more, two more. I lied. Sorry. Two more heart rate boosts in today's workout. So let's make these good. Quick sip. We're going to the moon. All right. First 30 seconds. Inchworms. Ready. Set. Let's go. Walk it out. Walk it back. Leap. Walk it out. Walk it back. Get those arms up. Mm -hmm. Now, same thing we practiced in the beginning of our work. As you reach out, get those arms straight up overhead. Jump. Yeah. Ten more seconds. Let's see how many you can do. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up. Get your legs going. Get your arms going. 30 seconds. Double overhead punch. Run it out. Get those knees up even higher. Roll your arms up the way. Run it up. All right, last 10. Give me everything you've got. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop wide, cross jacks, ready, set, go. Let me see you move fast. Try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time. Yes, amazing. Add that. In 10, we're going to go all out. Ready, set, go. Last 10 seconds. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay. Coming back down onto our palms for what is called a thrust jump. I make my way into plank position. I jump my feet outside my hands. I come up. I jump back. I hop up. I jump back alternative if that looks absolutely insane i'm in plank position i step step squat position step back step step squat step back okay either way we're getting our feet as high up outside our hands as we can and we're coming up into a squat position before we make our way back down into plank we are doing 40 seconds Straight of those. You can do it. I know you can for two sets. So our first set, I recommend going a little bit slower, getting used to it. And the second set, you can go all out. All right, three, two, one, 40 seconds. Let's go in plank position. Hop it up and back. Yeah, and as you come up, keep your weight in your heels. Drop your butt towards the floor. Get those arms up, take them down to the floor. Pop it back. Woo, half done. Awesome. And you can always step if you want to instead of jumping. I am a-okay with that. As long as you're getting those feet as high up as you can. Opening up the hips, working the glutes. Sweet. Go, Jeff. Jim, go. And Jeff. All of them. Everyone. <laughs> nice game. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Coming to plank position. Drop your knees. Circle the hips around one way. Move the hips around the other way. Next set, 40 seconds. Give me everything you've got. We've got speed in three, two, one. Time is rolling. Hop it up, jump, hop it back. If you want even more, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling as you come up. <laughs> Keep moving, keep working. Opening up the shoulders, opening up the hips. Everything is firing. Yes, Gabe, get your hands off the floor. 
Yeah, there you go. Woo, breathe through it, last 10. After this, we're gonna take a quick rest before our next move. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. I see some tired jumpers. Grab water, take a sip. All right. Quick few butt kicks to open up the thighs. Okay, so we have two more exercises here, one more cardio boost, and then we're gonna make our way into balance and core. So with that being said, we're doing two sets of the next one. It is a high knee curtsy lunge. I take my left leg, I go up, down, up, down. Try not to let this foot touch the floor. Okay, and as you come down, this front knee is gonna wanna flop open. Use your hips, your glutes. Do your best to keep it stacked over the front knee. Up, down, up, down, okay? And if getting that leg all the way up is too much on the balance, you can always tap, lunge, tap, lunge, okay? So starting with this left leg only, then we're gonna move right into the other side, and then we're gonna take a rest. We have four, three, Two, let's go. Left leg's working. Up, back, up, back. I have my hands on my hips. If you want more of a challenge, arms out to the side. Good, we're working through that balance. Our core is working, supporting our body in everything we do because it's the center of all movement in the entire body. Half done. Hopefully breaking a little sweat here. Chest up. Good, Kayleen. Nice, Bonnie. Awesome balance. Good. In 10, we're going to move into the other leg. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Right leg up, over, up, over. Check that front knee. Is it getting floppy? Are you engaging your hips and your glutes, keeping it through center? Mm-hmm. And as you step that right foot back, it is far back as you can. Challenge your hips. <laughs> it looks like a dance. Half done. Good. If your arms up to the side, see if you can take them a little bit straighter, a little bit longer. Otherwise, keep working through it. Good. Really bend into the front knee, bend into the back knee. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Hands on hips. Circle it out. Release them. Let's go. One more set. Bring it back up through center. Your choice, what you want to do with your hands. We have one, two, other option, three. Okay. This time we're going to start with the left leg. Pick that foot up and off the floor, however high you can. Lunge it over. Knee up. Over and up. Time is rolling. Mm hmm. And you can take these slow motion too, challenging that standing leg even more as you drop the back knee down to the floor. The pace is up to you, whether you want to go super fast, or whether you want to go slow motion, depending what your body is wanting today. Fast is fine, as long as you can keep good form. Last 10 seconds, and then we're going to go right to the other side. We have seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's go right to the other side. Right leg up. Take it over. We go up and back. Woo! <laughs> I sometimes think that going slower is even harder, but that's just me. Half done. See if you can get your knee up even higher and get your core. Mm hmm. Quentin, nice job. Knees really high. Those look great. Last 10. See if you can do two more. Just got his arms out. He's doing awesome. We have six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Everybody come back up through center, shake it out, kick it out. Make your way to the back of your floor, your mat, or your workspace. Last cardio boost of the day. 30 seconds, inchworms in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's walk it out. Walk it up. Let me see that overhead arms, overhead jump. Keep going. Ooh, last 10. Then we're going to come up for that overhead punch. Let me see if you can do two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Everybody up. Get your knees going. Get your arms going. We're rolling. Yeah, last time. Let's make it good. Let me see a little point of those toes. Pick them up. Pick them up. Woo wee! Roll those arms the opposite direction. Get them going. Go all out. This is the last time. Let's make it good. Up, up, up. Last ten. Show me what you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hop it out. Cross jacks. Go. All right. Get those arms moving. Half done. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last move of the day, we're going with a bunch of squats. So I have three squat positions. We've done offset push-ups before, same thing, but with a squat. So I'm working into my right leg. My left leg stays stable. I squat forward. Side, back, forward, side, back, okay? So right leg only, ready, set, let's go. Forward, side, back, there we go. Get your belt low. Do your best not to stop. And you can play with the different angle. Either way, your glutes, your quads are your firing and your hips are gonna open up. And we're gonna go right to the other side after this. So I wanna go a full, full burn. If you start to shake, good. That's what we're going for. Last 10. Then we're gonna go into the other side. Let me see you do one more set. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center. Let's switch it up. Left leg. We go forward, side, back. Time's rolling. Speed does not matter unless you want to go fast because you want to get your heart rate up. Otherwise, focus on getting your butt down. And ideally, not ideally, we must, the rule is, we have to keep our heels rooted into the floor the whole time. So as you're doing your squats, no popping up of those heels. Keep them down. Yep. Mm-hmm. 10 more seconds. You can also call this squat around the world. <laughs> Good. One more set. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Shake it out. And you guys are lucky in the name of time, that is going to be the only set that we do today. So now we're going to work on balance. We're going to take it down for some core and we'll wrap it up. So we are slightly wider than hip distance. And I want you to think about rooting through all 10 toes into the floor. So pressing all of them down. Now, once you're here, start to lift up and off your heels and draw it back down, okay? So let's do that a couple more times. Starting to come up onto our tiptoes. Nice and slowly. Three, two, good. Lift up and hold it. Now start to shift your weight over into your right leg. Try and keep your heel up. 
See if you can lift your left leg up and off the floor. Little lift. Can be small. Good. Five. Four. Use your core. Three. Two. One. Start to shift your weight over into your left leg. Keep your heels up the whole time. It's wobbly. I'm wobbly. We're doing it together. Get that right leg up. Yeah, there we go. Heel stays lifted. Five, four, whatever you want to do with your hands. Three, two, one. Keep your heels lifted. Little pulses up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And you know what? Because we talked about it in the beginning of class, let's do piano toes. So, Piano toes is one of the weirdest things. It's so fun. Okay, so I have 10 toes are all rooted into the floor. Together, I want you to try lifting one toe at a time off the floor, starting with your big toe. And I'm not a master at piano toes. The idea is that if you can even control your body down to your toes, because the body is a chain, it's, everything is connected. If we can control our toes, we can also control everything else. So starting with your big toes, lift one toe at a time off the floor. Good, starting with your big toes, lower one toe at a time down onto the floor. Good, keep your big toes rooted into the floor, lift the other four digits up. Good, set the other four digits down, get your big toes only off the floor. Good, pick up all 10 toes off the floor. Starting with the pinky toe, lower one toe down at a time. Last one, starting with the pinky toe, lift one toe up at a time. This <laughs> is darn near impossible. Good. Give all 10 toes a wiggle, wave hello. And then starting with the pinky toes, lower one down at a time. And let's come down and do some core. That was funky. Thanks for playing along. That was really fun. All right, come on down. We're going pure obliques for our core today. We have three things. The first one is a Russian twist. My arms come up. I go side, up, side, up, okay? 30 seconds of that. The next one, I come down onto my back. I'm reaching the alternating heel. My last one, I reach my arms up, over to the outer edge of one leg, and pulse it. And then we're gonna do the other set, okay? So first up, we have that Russian twist. Reach your feet to the floor. Arms come up in three, two, and one, good, side to side, roll back, tap the floor, come up, roll back, come up. Now the trick here is don't let your feet lift off the floor. So you have to be able to control your core enough that we're not flailing around, my time is going. Good, and as you do this, squeeze your knees together to help you activate your inner thighs, which will help you do this. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna come down onto our backs for alternate heel reaches. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's make our way down together. Once you come on and off, off, on, what am I saying? Once you come down onto your back, lift your head, neck, and shoulders, reach side to side, alternate heels. And I've heard these called penguins before. So let's go with that, penguin. Good. Lengthening from the fingertips to reach even further. And if you can tap your ankles, cool. Now, if you can pop your ankles, try to get even lower, work towards your pinky toes. Good, gazes into the belly button so we protect the neck. Last 10 seconds. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. 15 seconds, up and over, little reaches to the right. Both arms down towards the outer edge of the right foot, up, 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 come off your shoulder blades, get as high as you can. Use the length of your arms to get up even higher, deeper crunch. Yes, five more seconds, and then we're gonna go right to the other side. We have four, three, two, and one. Other side, over to the left, up, up. Mm -hmm. Keep your shoulders off the floor. Nice crunch, good. Yes, last eight. Even higher, squeeze, reach, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Everybody pull your knees into your chest. Rock and roll side to side. 
rock and roll up and down until you come up to sit, extend the legs straight, take a hamstring stretch, forward fold. Give the legs a pedal, bending alternate knees. Shake your head, yes, mm-hmm, awesome job. And then roll on up to sit, bring yourself up to stand. And then once you come up, arm circles, roll them up. Roll them out, arms up to the sides. Roll them out overhead. Bring your hands together, give yourself a round. Good job, everyone. Piano toes is probably my favorite thing we did today. We'll be here same time tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. We're already over halfway through the week. Yay. Thank you very much, as You're always. Thanks, Bye. Great job, Gator. Go, Gator. <sighs>